Hey guys, this week we're talking about Wi-Fi slow cookers and we're cooking up substitutes to cream a mushroom soup. And we talk about our philosophies about speaking life. All while having a whole lot of fun. Hi, and welcome back to another edition of As Good As It Gets. I'm Chris. And I'm Mikey. And this is a weekly chat from our kitchen where we answer your questions. All while having a whole lot of fun. So, we are back and we're actually lively this morning. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Last week, I know we talked about it before um, on, if y'all check out our live um, broadcast on YouTube. Yes. On Sunday afternoons, we do the uh, Church Song Sundays. If you haven't checked it out, come back. Uh, come see us on Sunday afternoon, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we kind of addressed it there, but it was a long week. Um, my job has been very, 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 very stressful here lately. And Chris has had a lot of things going on with the blogs. And Taxes. last week was, um, I think that we're going to just tag it as Mean People Week. There was a lot of mean comments, um, both on the blogs, and there was a couple... On the videos as well, and we addressed them. We got, um, we we took care of things, if you will. We kind of cleaned house a little bit. Um, so if any of y'all saw the some of the mean comments, thanks for not responding because they're not worth it. We took care of it. They're no longer around us anymore. So um, and so I just I have this were... rule, just so y'all know. Um, I say that you that our channel and our blog and everything is a lot like our dinner table. You don't have to like everything we're serving up, but you do have to use your manners. Yeah, I mean, I can't expect you guys to like every video. I can't expect you guys to like every dish. I know that. Heck, just from the coleslaw video, some people are like, oh no, I could never use Miracle Whip. And other people are like, Miracle Whip, mayonnaise <laughs> sucks. That's cool, that's just opinion, that's fine. But when you lose your ever living mind <laughs> on a video, no, <laughs> we're done. That's right. We speak life. Yeah, speak life. We yes. speak life on this channel. Yeah. So if you don't like it, it's cool. But so. if you start speaking mean stuff, whether it's to uh, either one of us or a member to of our crock posse, bye. So <laughs> we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. Um, but it was a long week. Yes, and so we took the weekend and we enjoyed the warmer weather. We got outside. We love to go for walks in the park. We and had, you saw the tapings this week with the coleslaw and with the bacon cheddar <laughs> potatoes. We had a blast making those yes, this week. Yes, we had, we, we got back to the, um, the reason behind everything. Yes, so that was I really have really mastered good. the food processor <laughs> and I still have all of my fingers. For now. For now. So... <laughs> We had a good time. But we're back. We're ready to jam today. Yes, yes. And so today we're going to have a little bit of an extended reader email. Mm -hmm. We're going to answer two um, cooking type questions first. And then we're going to dive into a couple personal emails um, and chat about that too. Yep. So, and then we're going to have the menu. And I do believe that Miss Ad, who was our artist today, is going to help present the menu here in a little bit. So... All right, well, let's go on to reader emails. All right. Reader emails. You want to ask me a question first? Yes, we have an email from Deborah. Deborah says, good day to you. I enjoy your recipes a lot because I'm in my 60s and I'm disabled. Um, your site makes it a lot easier for uh, to cook for my husband, who is also disabled, and I. But I have a request. I could really use some recipes for beef and pork that do not use cream of mushroom soup. I'm extremely allergic to mushrooms and I'm so disappointed when I run across one of your delicious photos of a meal only to have my hopes dashed when I find that ingredient listed. Any help, even with a viable substitution, would be so appreciated. Debbie. Well, first off, uh, Debbie, uh, and I won't, I won't tell everybody what your email address is, but I just read it and that's hilarious. <laughs> Did you see what yes, it was? Yes. That's good. Now, let's go on talking about cream of soups. Um, any any cream of soup, uh, cream soup can be substituted. You don't have to use cream of mushroom. Um, cream of chicken, of course, works well with chicken recipes or pork recipes. Cream of celery is pretty much kind of like cream of mushroom. It'll go good with anything. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a, a make it yourself cream soup on the blogs. And. Um, so you don't have to use cream of mushroom. We like cream of mushroom. We love it around here. But we understand some people are allergic to different things. Yeah. 
But and the make it yourself though isn't super convenient. Those are that's mainly for the folks who just are very anti canned mm -hmm. cream soup. So if you don't mind the canned cream soup, I would say definitely go with like cream of celery is probably your closest. Um, or you know just go look at all the different cream soup options. Pretty much any of them are going to add that special texture and flavor right and all the beef and pork and chicken recipes are on the side what you see on the sidebar mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep there's a side on the sidebar of the website um you'll see a little icon that says beef recipes chicken recipes pork recipes and we do have several that do not have any kind of cream soup ingredient in them a lot of them are tomato based and so if you are a fan of tomato flavors we've got a lot of that so i would just um that would be a quick way to kind of scan through the recipes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I wouldn't even, if I see cream of mushroom, I wouldn't um, get too disappointed if you're willing to try some of those others. Yep. Yeah. So. Well, I have one from a dude named Jim. And Jim says, first I want to say how much I enjoy your channel and blog. Well, thank you very much, sir. The two of you are so funny and immediately put me at ease. Most recipe videos you do are things I'd actually eat. Well, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> I love to hear, um, I love that you just go with the flow and show us the mistakes along with the successes and keep it real. Well, that's what we're about around here. You have so much experience with crock pot cooking that I know I can trust what you say. On to my question. I was wondering if you have ever used an internet connected crock pot. What is your opinion of them? I would really like to get one, but I've heard mixed reviews. Thanks, Jim. Well, Jim, we've talked about this a couple times, I know, on this show, mm -hmm. um, but and my opinion has not really changed. It's only strengthened. Um, I love, 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 love Black & Decker's version of what the Black & Decker Wi-Fi slow cooker. Um, it, it works every time. I even had it out this week, and I'm like, oh, I haven't had it plugged in. Is it going to know? Is it going to attach to the Wi-Fi the way that it should? You know, without missing a beat. Every time I plug it in, I just go to my phone. I can operate it. It. I don't believe I've ever had it disconnect on me. Knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've had the exact opposite. Uh, relationship with the uh, crock pot Wi-Fi slow cooker um, I cannot keep that sucker connected to save my life uh, even when I think I finally have it lo and behold six hours in it will disconnect itself it's just it's it's one of the most frustrating <laughs> now in the defense of that and yeah. it's not really defense but that slow cooker mm -hmm. that you're talking about the crock pot is one, older was it was like one yeah. of the first ones that ever came out. Yes. And, and the so they may have anything. an updated model that I just haven't tried. Yeah. And and the other piece of that is there may be people who don't have problems with it. I uh, For a long time, I thought it was my internet connection. I was very skeptical when I bought the Black & Decker one. Um, but it was the other thing about the Black & Decker one is at the time, it was about half the <clears> price <throat> of the, the one that I bought on Amazon. Um made by crock pot and so i i was like well i will give it a try just to see if it's me mm -hmm. is what is honestly it was like okay is it me or is it this? and lo and behold the the um, black and decker version works works so easily in the house yep. so so i'm not willing though to go and buy a newer if they made a newer model um I, because i don't think you need multiple slow cookers that way i think it's handy to have when you're out running around and you can kind of change things around and all that but um and i love i love the black and decker one so much that it's the only um, black and decker slow cooker i had so I actually went and purchased, um, and we've got a couple unboxings coming up, uh, two other Black & Decker slow cookers to, um, because I just wanted to see, because I was really impressed with it. And no, they're not a sponsor. They don't know who I am or anything like that. Yet. Uh, <laughs> I, I just went, I just decided to kind of give them a try because I was really impressed with the product that I found. Yep. So, so yeah. 
So now we're going to shift, um, now that we've answered the two uh, more cooking related questions, we're going to shift to some personal things. Um, my, we got a really, really, really nice email from Maureen mm -hmm. this week. And we just wanted to, especially considering the week we had last week with how people, um, and it's not it's not the crock posse, but it, it how we were receiving um, a lot of negative kind of things. And it's not people who've had recipes that have went bad or anything like that. It's just very opinionated people who right. just come and yell at us and so um so it's it was kind of a hard week on top of it it was kind of you know when things snowball on top of everything else you know in the middle of doing taxes and and you having a hard week at yeah. work and and so this this email was like a uh a drink of water <laughs> yeah and, and it's, it's funny how you know especially when when we see like i will see some negative comments or stuff or you know people that just don't like the format of the shows i don't know why they watch them you know other than to to get their opinions in but then all of a sudden boom it seems like when that happens somebody comes through and drops a love bomb yes and we've got several <clears throat> we got several really nice notes i just wanted yeah. to highlight one of them and, and we do really show. we really do try to reply we just we get so yeah. much correspondence nowadays it's hard to reach out to everybody i mean if I, I mean, you see that we read your comments because we'll, you'll see the little loves, the likes on the bottom of your, excuse me, I got hiccups. You'll, you'll see uh, where we've, you know, we've liked your comment or loved your comment. And, um, but then every once in a while, it's just like, you got to stop and reply or stop and take notice of somebody. And Maureen uh, sent this message. I'm not going to read the whole email, um, but I, I just want to read you some sweet words that she said. She said, Dear Chris and Mikey, I just wanted to send along a few thoughts and compliments while I have a moment. Your websites, YouTube videos, and recipes are wonderful. Mikey's Sunday gospel songs are joyful to listen to. His faith and love of the Lord are truly reflected in his gift for music. Thank you. And then she goes on to say, The video chats are so much fun to watch. Mikey Cooks is a cross between Alton Brown and Lucille Ball. Especially this week. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll see that if you haven't already. Uh, keep up both the good cooking and the humor. Chris, your infectious laughter invites us to laugh along with you. I don't know. I just love her laugh. No. I just love to hear your giggling in the background. You and Mikey really, truly are friends as well as partners, parents, and the loving husband and wife. We really are. Whereas she's, she's it for me. The fun and love that you give, or that you share as a family, are clearly evident. Miss Addie shares her parents' sense of fun and joy, as well as loving natures. She is a treasure. Aunt Lou is such a delight, too, with her humor and creative input with different elements of the webpage and videos. Not only do I appreciate the recipes, banter, music, cooking, and demonstrations, but behind-the-scenes technology explanations are a real help understanding what you have to do to produce your YouTube videos and also the web pages. I had absolutely no idea the amount of time and the various aspects of technology that are utilized in creating all of the projects that you both are involved in, and it truly amazes me. Thank you for sharing the other side of the camera. She says, thank you again for creating Goodness Gracious and Recipes That Crock, and God bless all of your lives and endeavors. Maureen. Thank you, Maureen. <laughs> and, that, and again, that was an email that we got just in time after getting a whole bunch of lousy lousy comments and a couple of mean people that I think that just jumped in to be mean and then here comes Maureen with her little yeah. Supergirl cape on jumping into the rescue with some sweet words speaking life this is what we talk about when we say speaking life yeah and you it's know. not just complimenting it's encouraging those around you um, to be be themselves and be mm -hmm. what they are. I mean, I, I think that that's the big thing. It's not it's not just about, hey, we love it, or I love what you're doing. It's about just speaking life into people. When you see something that you like, you say something. Yep. Instead of looking for the things you don't like and going around and, and yelling at people all the time. <laughs> and I think that that's one of the things that reasons why we started this channel is that we wanted to be a place that was fun to hang out on the internet yeah. and we wanted to be a place where um because the internet can be especially i know from working on the internet for years the internet can be a really hard place to be you know um 
So, um, so it's just really nice to be reminded of, you know, why we created this space to begin mm -hmm. with and, and the fact that not only do we try to put that out there, but then the people who are participating in it are also giving back to us in a way that I, just came at the perfect time. Right. Uh, we were very grateful. Thank I, you. I eventually, and it's going to happen, um, I eventually want to do this kind of stuff full time, the YouTube stuff, and, and create more videos. This is worth more than gold to us. This is the kind of stuff that we live off of. Um, it's just because we're giving joy to people. We're showing our joy. And, and it's not always there because we're, we're married. And, and We are. And, you know, some of y'all are married. You know what we're talking about. Life happens and you get drugged down and, and you get in fights and you, you bicker and you banter. And then all of a sudden, if you stop and go, hey, you look pretty today. Or she, she sent me a text. I'm going to tell on you. Last night, I'm at work and, again, beating my head against the desk, doing all the, the hundred things I got to do at one time. And then I got a text from my wife. And all it said was, gosh, I love you. And it just, it spoke just enough life into me to keep me going through the rest of, sh rest of the shift. And, you know, and that's what this did for us. That was a gosh, I love you note. And, and gosh, Maureen, we love you too. We, we love you all. Every one of you. We love that you interact with us. We love that you speak life into us. We love that you hold us accountable. If you see, gosh, y'all are tired. Y'all are having a rough week. You're not afraid to say something. We're not real good at hiding that. No, and, and we took that... Um, we took that advice about, you know, kind of taking a break. We, I mean, we, we went full bore with the videos and stuff, but we stopped and we took a day and enjoyed each other's company and took Addie out to the park, rested, relaxed, and laughed. Mm -hmm. And I think that really bled through um, on that next Sunday, whenever we taped, because we laughed a lot. <laughs> so... Well, what do you got for me? We have no. This Another is one. what this is actually for me. Oh. Uh, but uh, this is well. This would technically be for Aunt Lou if she were here, mm -hmm. but she's not here today. So I'm. Gonna, she will watch. Yes, and it'll be interesting if she has commentary around this. But I thought that this would be kind of a fun note to end things on, just because. Um, because Sharon um, wanted to ask. She said, hi, Chris, and shout out to Mikey. I try, She was talking about she tried to link uh, to the questions in the weekly chat, but <laughs> she said it was like walking through molasses um, typing on her tablet. I know how that goes. Anyhow, her question is, how did Aunt Lou get her name? I think you referred to her by another name a while back in the vlog about the Badlands. And that is true. Aunt Lou's real name is not Aunt Lou. Aunt Lou's real name is Sarah. And Sarah has always been called Lou in my family since she was, well, born. That's my dad has always called her Lou. So then when Addie came along, who's the first grandchild, um, she started calling her Aunt Lou. And so that's kind of, and then when she joined the team for Goodness Gracious, the first blog, that's what we always called her. Mm -hmm. So she just took on that name and that, I mean, that's what we call, that's what we call her now. Like if, if Addie wants to call Aunt Lou, she's going to say, I'm going to go call Aunt Lou. Yeah. So she never called her Aunt Sarah once. No. Oh no. That feels weird. And that's kind of a tradition in my family. Um, a lot of the members of my family and my extended family all have, um, nicknames that the family calls them that they don't go by in I mean you know I had an aunt that went by a different name um in the family and no one in the public called her that but it was just us yeah. and so it it's it's a weird family tradition but <laughs> do you guys have any weird family traditions like that <laughs> and, you know in the comments you might let us know like, yeah and I thought that was because you know it's confusing you have to learn two sets of names for everybody yeah, I thought that was kind of strange when we first started dating. Um, I went down and, you know, uh, you know, when I got to know Chris, you know, we talked about our parents' names and everything. And so I knew her mom and her dad's name. And then I got down there and they called each other different names. And I'm like, which side of the family is this? <laughs> you know, they all had their nicknames. Yeah. So I had to learn names, nicknames, mm -hmm. first names that weren't even the real first names that people used. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of, Yeah. Names are a very interesting thing in my family, but yes, and so Aunt Lou is a 
a product of that. And so, she, but that's what she goes by. My favorite nickname, though, on all your family is what I call your mom. Oh, she's not going to like this. Mom. <laughs> she can't my stand it. My mom doesn't like that. No, she does not. <laughs> don't know, if you ever meet Chris's mom, don't, don't say mom. He's going to be in trouble. I surely am. <laughs> So now we're going to transition into our weekly menu, and we are going to... And I'm going to turn you into a nine-year-old girl. Bippity boppity boo! Where did my beer go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take your glasses off. I can actually make you take your glasses off. All right, would you like the spoon? Yes. Uh, you need to pull your sleeves up. It's different being a nine-year-old kid. <laughs> Okay, so for our snack, we're going to be having buffalo chicken stuffed potato skins. And for this, this is kind of weird because buffalo, so we decided to do like bullfighting. Chick okay. Chicken, a chicken as like the bullfighter and then there's a bull and a potato as a referee. I gotcha. I think there are referees. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, for breakfast, we have apple coffee cake. Apple coffee. Do, do, do you see what it says on the It says, I hate Mondays. Well, okay. You know, you know those bugs. <laughs> All right. For Monday, we have barbecue ranch chicken sandwiches. This this one I just mm. do, do a sandwich with. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. All right, come over here. Okay, taco ravioli casserole. I drew a taco on some ravioli. There we go. Pretty straightforward. For Wednesday, we have three bean pork chili. So I drew a pig in a bowl with three beans on top of it. Okay. Um, for Thursday we have rosemary garlic pork loin with parsley. Sorry, I just hate your hand. It's okay. Rosemary garlic pork loin with parsley potatoes. I do parsley potatoes, some rosemary, some uh, garlic, and a pork loin. There we on go. On a plate. Okay, you got to turn so we can see you. So rosemary go. Okay. You got to turn like this, honey. Rose rosemary garlic pork loin with parsley potatoes. I love your garlic. That's Thank you. very realistic. Thank you. Okay. And pizza mac and cheese. I do a pizza and some mac and cheese. Yes. Do you remember this recipe? What do you think about this one? I love it. Yes. Tell them what it is. It's pizza with mac and cheese crust. Oh. You mix, you mix um, mac and cheese with eggs and yes. flour? Not flour, but eggs. Good job. Okay. What's the dessert? Baked vanilla custard. I oh. just put vanilla in the oven. Except we're making it in a crock pot. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> okay, let me try some movie magic here and see if I can turn you back into daddy, okay? Okay. Oh, put your glasses on or you know how he is about his glasses. No, I can't. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Bippity bobbity boo! Oh, something went drastically wrong. <laughs> Let me try that again. Bippity bobbity boo! Oh, that's much better. Don't forget, Church Song Sundays, 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. Bring your singing voice, y'all. On Sunday. And send us your questions. Send us your comments. Bye. Bye. But I'm not close enough. <laughs> What? And we're talking all about our. My gosh! <laughs> Why don't you do the speaking life? Will you do that? Hello? Okay. <laughs> and we talk about our philosophies on speaking life. Oh, am I supposed to speak? Yes! <laughs> We're talking about Wi-Fi slookers. What? <laughs> slookers? <laughs> Wi-Fi slookers! It's a new thing. Crop Posse shout out. <laughs>